Hello and welcome to Aspire Civil Studio. In this video, let's see how we can do the modeling of the Filecap Foundation into a safe software. Now basically we are going to import the AutoCAD file which is the Filecap Foundation drafting plan into a safe software and then after we'll perform the modeling of the Filecap Foundation. Now in case if you want to learn the practical design of the Filecap Foundation, so we have the complete course on that one also. You can just check out our website aspirecivilstudio.com and then just go into courses section and here we are having the multiple structural engineering courses you can just visit into any particular course that you are interested in so let's say i will open this file foundation design course so through this course we will be using few softwares like csi safe so safe will be used for the modeling design and analysis of the file foundation and also will perform certain stability checks on that file foundation like we will check whether the pile cap foundation we have designed is safe or not for the settlements and the pile load bearing capacity one way shear and the punching shear according to the IS456 and also according to the IS2911 and also we will be using CSI ETAP so that we can calculate the actual forces that are going to act on the pile cap foundation and also we will do the modeling of the pile cap foundation into ETAPs then after we will be using AutoCAD so that we can do the drafting of the pile cap foundation and also we will use a Procon for the design of the piles. So this course basically contains 20 recorded sessions and the total duration of the course is 13 plus hours and the validity of the course is lifetime. Like once you purchase the course, the course will be there in your account for the lifetime. It will not be removed. So before purchasing the course, you can just watch the preview lectures and then you can just add it into your card so that you can just proceed with the payment and the course will be added into your account immediately after the payment. Now also check out the description of the course and here you can just check out the complete syllabus of the course so here is a complete syllabus you can just go through it so as you can see here right now the course is priced at 1799 rupees but still we are offering an additional discount for the civil and structural engineering students so if you are interested just check out the website or if you have any kind of doubt regarding this particular course or any particular structural engineering course that is available on our platform you can just let us know through whatsapp or you can just directly call us okay so the courses links are given in the description box you can just check it out now let's get into a video so now in this lecture we are going to uh, model the pilecap foundation into the safe software so before we begin uh, with the safe software first of all we will need the actual forces okay and actual forces we can generate using our etas model only so first of all i will just open the etas model of this particular project and we take the actual forces and then we'll import this into the safe software so this is the ETAPS and I'll just open the model like this one only. Okay, so now we need to export the base reactions like the forces that are going to act on the pile cap foundation, right? So to import these forces, you need to make sure the model is analyzed, like it has model should be analyzed. And as you can see here, this is analyzed. So we'll go for the file section and then export. And then here I'll select this option, story as safe version 12 dot F2K file. Now, once you select this, you have the three options here. Now for the foundation design, basically we go for the second option, which is called the export floor loads and the load from above. Okay. So I'll select this one only. And then after you need to just select the story of which the forces you want to export. For example, let's say we are designing the foundation only. So the story we have to select is a base or you can say the foundation. And you have to select the suitable uh, load, uh, load cases, or you can say the load patterns like the dead load lie load greater than three lie load less than three and the uh, static and dynamic earthquake forces you have to select you don't have to select the wind loads in the x and y direction because the wind loads will not like the wind will not be exposed to the foundation right so you don't have to select the wind load just select the dead load lie load and static and dynamic seismic forces then after just click on okay and you have to select a one particular load combination which is dead load plus lie load this is p equal to dead load plus lie load i will select this this is dslb these are the load combination for the slabs 
okay and d wall these are nothing but the load commission for the shear walls okay and decon these are the load commission for the concrete frames like the beams and columns so uh, as we are going to design the foundation so we don't require the load combination of the frames walls and the slab we will only require this dead load plus tile load so i will select this and i'll just click on okay and then again click on okay now it will just ask you path where you want to save this uh, ftk file so for example uh, let's say here I'll save this F2 file. Now you can see the exporting is going on. Okay, so exporting is done. Now what we'll do is uh, we'll open the safe software. The thing is using the safe version 20. You cannot import the DXF file as well as the F2 file. If you, let's say, if you use this save for the 20 uh, i'll show you what error you will get okay so this is save for the 20 now first of all uh, i will just import the f2k file so i will go for the file section and then import and then save uh, dot f2k text file now then after I'll just select the file which we have just exported from the ETFs. Okay, like uh, this one only and just click on open. So as you can see here, uh, this FTK file is imported. Okay, now you you will import this uh, file cap foundation uh, dropping uh, that this is the DXF file that you have to import in the safe software. So again, you will go for the file section and then import and then you will click on this DXF file of a floor plan. So this is the file cap foundation a drafting DXF file. Okay, you can only import a DXF file into ETFs or the safe software. So you need to make sure you should uh, you should be saving this uh, PileCap foundation into a DXF file format only. Then only you can import it into the safe. So this is the DXF file, and I'll just click on open. Then after you can see you will get this kind of error that uh, abnormal condition is has occurred. Okay, so th basically this means saying that the safe is crashing. Okay, so uh, for the particular model you cannot import a F2K file and also a DXF file uh, in any particular it's safe model. You can only import the F2K file or or you can import the DXF file. You cannot import both the files. So for that reason we are going to use a safe 2016. Okay, so this is the safe 2016, which is uh, like somewhat similar to the 2020 only. Okay, now we'll go to the file section and import and here we will import the base reaction. So we'll go for the import section and then save dot uh, f2k file. Okay, so this is the f2k file. This is the f2k file and I'll just click on open. Now you can see it is imported. Now let's see the joint. So we'll go for the set display options here. And here uh, I'll just deselect this invisible for the points and horizon also. I'll deselect this invisible points and the horizon. And I'll just click on apply. Now you can see these are the column joints and these are the two shear wall joints. If you click on any particular column joint, if you go for the load section, you will be getting the dead load acting on that particular joint and light load also seismic forces also static and dynamic both. Okay. Now as we have imported the base reactions, now the next step will be to import the uh, pile cap foundation drafting, right? So we'll go for the file section and then import and then DXF or DWG file. Okay, so this is the uh, pile cap foundation drafted in DXF file you can see. Now I'll just click on open here. So this is the pile cap, like this is the boundary element. As you can see here, this is nothing but the pile cap. And for that one, the layer we have selected is a pile cap. Okay, and for the points, we have selected the layer as a point only. 
so these are the two layers which are uh, important into the safe software so in the line sections we will select a file cap okay and in the special joint section i will select points only okay so in the special joints i will select the points and in the line section i will select the file cap then after you need to also select this cad drawing units for example here if you just draw uh, any particular dimension line as you can see the distance is showing in the terms of 3.02 this means the uh, units are in meter only if you are getting the distance like 3000 or 4000 something like that then the unit will be uh, like in mm only okay so at that time you have to select mm so for now uh, the distance we are getting is like 3.02 so so that will be in the meter only like the uh, cad drawing unit will be in meter so I'll select meter and I'll just click on OK. So as you can see, it is uh, it is imported. DXF file is imported, but there is some issue here. Like as you can see here, uh, the pile cap is not here. Okay. In case if you are getting this uh, huge line for the points, not that one, then what you can do is you can just enter a command called region. Okay. This one region command you can use, and the lines will be smaller. This pile cap is completely rectangular, so there is the reason why it is not showing in the shape. As you can see for this particular pile cap. The lines are separate like this one is separate this one is separate so these are the four separate lines so the same you have to do for this one also so i'll select this and then i will uh, use the command x so that i can explode this rectangle and all the lines will be separated as you can see now the lines are separated here now i will save this uh, in the dxf file I'll close this drawing first. Okay, so I'll save this again in the DXF file format and I will close it from here. So I'll just click on this uh, undo DXF add so that I can uh, again add a updated DXF file. So I'll go to the file section and then import and again I'll go for the DXF or DWG file. Okay, so this is the file we have updated. Now I'll just click on open. And here in the line section, I'll select the pile cap layer. And in the special joint, I will select this point layer. And the CAD drawings will, uh, CAD drawing unit will be meter only. Then after, I'll just click on OK. You can see everything is fine here. Like the group one pile cap, group two pile cap, group three, group four, group five, all are there. To import a uh, DXF file, you need to define the material properties that are going to use uh, in the pile cap foundation. Like you are going to use a concrete and some rebars. Okay, so those properties you have to define. So for those one, you can just go for a define section and then materials. Okay, so here I'll just click to add new material. So first of all, we'll add the concrete only. So material type I will select as a concrete. Now whatever the grade of concrete we are used for the superstructure design, the same we'll use for the foundation design also for example we have used a uh, m35 grade of concrete for the superstructure so the same will be used so m35 now uh, weight per unit volume this will be a uh, same only you don't have to change it you just need to change the modulus of elasticity now the modulus of elasticity there is a formula uh, in the is456 like 5000 under root of fck now fck is 35 here okay so modulus of elasticity you are getting is like uh, 29,580. So I uh, will enter that value here, 29,580. Then after uh, specified compressive strength of a concrete, that will be 35 only, 35 Newton per mm square. Then after just click on OK. And you can see M35, this is the grade of concrete we have just added. Now I will add a grade of steel also. Okay, so for example, uh, in the superstructure, we have used a HYSD 500 uh, rebar. So the same we will use for the foundation also. So FE 500 and the material type will be rebar only. And weight per unit volume, this will be the same. You don't have to change it. You just need to change the modulus of elasticity. That will be 2 into 10 raised to 5. So 2 and 5 times 0. Right. Then after minimum yield stays for the uh, HYSD 500 steel, that will be 500 Newton per mm square. And the minimum tensile stays for the FE 500, that will be 545 Newton per mm square. Then after just click on OK and OK. 
so till now we have added the grade of concrete and grade of steel now the next thing is we need to uh, define the pile caps okay? like we have used a uh, different pile caps for the different uh, groups okay? like according to the actual forces we have defined the groupings like you can see in the red color we have the group 1 and in the blue color we have the group 2 then group 3 group 4 group 5 group 6 and all that so for each group we have the different uh, different thickness of the pile caps and the different diameters of pile and the numbers of piles so we have to define those properties also in the shape software so we'll start with the group one first so in the group one uh, we are going to use a uh, two piles as you can see here in the group one we are going to use a uh, two piles of a 600 mm diameter so basically first of all i will define that pile cap property i'll just go to the define section and then slab properties and i will just modify the slab one property i will give it a name as a pile cap okay then after i will specify the thickness of a pile cap we are going to use for the group one for example uh, for the group one we are going to use a 600 mm thickness pile cap okay like 600 mm thick pile cap we are going to use so here pile cap 600 mm thick and this one we are going to use for the group one okay so group one i will add here in the property name and the slab material will be the grade of concrete like m35 and then after the type will be footing only and the thickness will be 600 mm okay like this is the thickness of a pile cap which we have determined according to the excel sheet okay so 600 mm thickness and uh, this thick plate you have to ignore and just click on okay now this is the pile cap for the group one i will add another one for the group two so i will give it a name as a pile cap and for the group two we are going to use 1000 mm thickness pile like 1000 mm thick pile we are going to use for the group two so pile cap 1000 mm and this one we are going to use for the group two so this will be the property name and I'll change the thickness only, which will be 1000 for the group two. Now I'll add another one for the group three also. Now the thing is for the group three, uh, like you can see here, the group three is basically combined with the group seven. Okay. So there is no group three right now, as you can see in the AutoCAD, or you can go just go with the DXF file or a DWG file that you have prepared for the pile cap foundation drafting. You can clearly see there there is no group three so group three basically we have uh, we considered for these two columns like this one column and this one column but while we are drafting the pile cap foundation for these two particular columns, it was overlapping on this uh, on the pile cap foundation of the shear walls. So that is the reason why we have combined uh, all these piles. Like we have uh, completely did a different arrangement for the piles and the pile cap also. So there is no group three right now here in this particular foundation. So I will add a pile cap for the group four directly, not the group three. So 1300 mm. And this will be used for the group four. And here I'll change the thickness 1300 mm. Then after I will add another one for the group five. So pile cap. For the group five, the thickness of pile cap is 1400 mm. So in the property name, I will specify the thickness also 1400 mm. This will be used for the group five. Okay, I'll change the thickness 1400 mm. And for the group six, we are going to use a, a pile cap of a thickness 1500 mm. Okay, and this one we are going to use for the group six. I'll change the thickness 1500 mm and okay. I'll add another one for the group sorry pile cap okay. for the group 7 pile cap the thickness is 1500 mm again group 7 
so we have defined the pile cap for the group 1 group 2 and there is no group 3 uh, group 4 is there group 5 group 6 and group 7 now we need to define a pile uh, pile property also so i'll just click to add new property and property name i'll take it as a pile okay you don't have to specify the diameter of pile here we will specify that let when we go to the modeling of the pile cap function then the slab material will be the grade of concrete m35 and the type you have to select is a footing only okay now you need to specify the thickness okay so the thickness of pile will be greater than the thickness of a pile cap you have considered okay like here the maximum thickness of a pile cap is 1500 mm so you have to consider more thickness for the pile for example here 1500 is a maximum thickness so let's say i'll consider 1600 mm thickness for the pile okay you have to always consider the maximum thickness of a pile as compared to the thickness of a pile cap then after we'll add a dip another property uh, which will be used for the modeling of the column and the shear wall in the safe software so again i'll click to add new property and here i will give it a name as let's say column or shear wall and for the column or shear wall we use the property like the type as a stiff only okay and the thickness you have to provide more than the thickness of the pile cap only for example here 1500 is a maximum thickness of pile cap so for the column we have to consider more than that so i will consider 1600 mm and also you have to ignore this thick plate option here just click on okay and okay now let's do the uh, drafting of the pile cap foundation right so we'll begin with the group 1 so here we have done the grouping now as you can see this is the group 1 group 1 and here also there is a group 1 and group 1 so basically we are having a uh, four footings under the group 1 first of all we'll draw the pile cap then after we'll draw the piles okay so for the drafting of the pile cap we have to use this option which is uh, which we have used already in the ats for the drafting of the slabs okay like this is the option we have to use second one draw rectangular slabs or the areas this option we have to used and here you have to select the type of area this one will be a slab only and then after you need to select the property for example let's say i want to uh, draw the group 1 pile cap so i will select the pile cap 600 which you are going to use for the group 1 okay then after just specify the joints like this one i'll select and i'll draw it like this you have already drawn the slabs in the e tab so this won't be difficult to you to draw the pile cap in the safe okay so pile cap for the group 1 is drafted now we'll draw for the group 2 now in the group 2 we are having uh, this footings you can see this is the group 2 this is the group 2 and this one is also this one also okay now in the group 2 we are having the irregular pile caps like as you can see these are in a trapezoidal shape so we have to use a different command here like this one we have to use okay draw slabs or the areas so i'll select this command and first of all i'll change the property i'll select the uh, pile cap 1000 mm uh, thickness which we are going to use for the group 2 then after i'll select the joints at which the shape of pile cap will be changing okay so group 2 is done now we don't have the group 3 here uh, so let's just draw a pile cap for the group 4 now in the group 4 we have uh, multiple footings here like this one this one there are lots of footings are there in the group 4 so in the group 4 first of all uh, as you can see in the group 4 we have the rectangular uh, shaped pile cap okay so we can use this command draw rectangular slabs so i'll select this and first of all i'll change the property I'll select this uh, group four property pile cap 1300 mm thick group four. I'll select it and then after I'll just draw a pile cap just like this. Okay, these are the group five pile caps. So we don't have to draw it here. Uh, we we will draw the group five pile cap later. First of all, I'll just draw a group four pile caps.
so group 4 is done now let's draw a group 5 now in the group 5 we have the four footings like these are the four footings that will be in the uh, group 5 okay so first of all i'll change the property i'll select the group 5 property and then after i'll draw the pile cap now as you can see the group 5 pile caps are done now we'll draw the group 6 and uh, group 6 we have the four footings the, uh, like this only so first of all i'll change the property i'll select group 6 property and then after i'll draw the pile cap okay now we have the last group which is the group 7 uh, so i'll change the property group 7 i'll select and i'll draw the pile cap so here till now we have done the modeling of the pile cap now we'll draw the piles here in this pile cap foundation so we have to use a different command here uh, we'll use this command quick draw area around the points okay and here a shape of an object we have to select as a circular as the pile wave will be circular in shape only so we have to select the shape of object as a circular slab then after a property you have to select as a pile Okay, you have to select the property as a pile and you have to specify the uh, suitable diameter of the pile that will be used in the particular pile cap group. For example, uh, in the group one, here you can see in the group one, we are going to use a two piles of a 600 mm. So basically in the group one pile cap, we are going to use a 600 mm diameter pile. So here in the safe, you have to specify the diameter of pile. So it, here you have to specify the diameter of pile in the terms of meter. So that will be 0.6 meter. Then after just select the points at which you want to draw the pile. So for example, these are the two points we have taken, uh, like we have drafted these two points in the AutoCAD, uh, just, just to uh, get the reference point at which we have to draw the pile. So these are the reference points at which we have to draw the piles. So I'll just uh, select these points and you can see the piles will be drawn. So just select the group one points and draw the pile. Okay, so group one is done. Now let's just go for the group two. Now in the group two, we are going to use a three piles of a 550 mm. Okay, so first of all, I'll change the diameter. I'll take the diameter as a 0.55. And these are the four footings like this one, this one, this one, and this one. These are the four footings in the group two. So I'll select these points like this point, this point, this point. These are the points at which we have to draw the piles. So just select the point and the piles will be drawn there. If you are confused in the grouping, just for the previous lecture, it will be cleared. Okay. okay. So group two is done. Now we don't have the group. Now, first of all, uh, let's just check what are the uh, footings are there in the group four. So basically, as you can see, these two footings, okay, and these two footings like this one and this one. And also there are many footings are there in the group four. So for the group four, we are going to use again a 550 mm diameter piles, okay, and the four piles we are going to use for the group four. So this diameter will be same only 0.55. Now just select the points at which you want to draw the pile. You don't have to draw a pile here. This is the point of the column only. So there won't be any kind of pile here. So group four is done. Now let's go with the group five. So in the group five, we are going to use a four piles of a 600 mm diameter. So here I have to change the diameter. So from uh, 0.55, I'll take it as a 0.6 meter. So uh, 600 mm diameter will be uh, the pile we have to use for the group five. Now, first of all, we need to check uh, where is the group five footings. So basically, Basically, these are the four footings in the group five, like this one, this one, this one, and this one. These are the four footings under the group five. 
so let's just draw the piles here now we have the group 6 so let's see what are the diameters of piles we are going to use for the group 6 so for the group 6 we are going to use a uh, four piles of a 600 mm diameter so you don't have to change the diameter here just draw the piles at the reference point now this is the group 7 so for the group seven, uh, as we discussed in the last session, we have done the uh, completely different arrangement of the piles and the pile cap for the group seven. So group seven footing pile cap will be used uh, to support this shear wall and these two columns. As you can see in the AutoCAD plan here, this group seven pile cap will be supporting these two shear walls and these two columns. And for this one, we have used, uh, let's say 20 numbers of pile. Okay. We have used uh, 20 numbers of pile. So now you can measure the diameter of pile here from this AutoCAD file also. It is 550 mm. Okay. So let's change the diameter here. So diameter I'll take 0.55. And then after just select the joints, uh, like the points at which you want to draw the pile. Okay, this is the uh, point for the column only. So we don't have to draw a pile here. So till now the piles are drawn. So now let's just draw the, uh, you can say the shear wall, all the column properties here in the safe software. So we will use this command, quick draw area around the points again. Okay, and here we will use the rectang uh, shape of the object as a rectangular one because the columns we have used all the shear wall we have used for the superstructure design are rectangular in the shape only. So you have to select the rectangular step and the property will be a column or the shear wall you have to select. Now again, you need to mention here the X dimension and the Y dimension. These are nothing but the width and the depth of the column or the shear wall. So let's just draw the columns here. So we use this command pick draw area around the points and as we have seen in the AutoCAD plan we have the squared shape column like the width and the depth of the column is same only like 0.6 so x dimension will be 0.6 and the y dimension that will be also 0.6 then after just specify the joints at which you want to draw the column just like this. Okay, so the columns are drawn. Now we need to draw the shear wall. So we'll go to the AutoCAD plan. So for group one pile cap, we have the shear wall here. Now let's calculate the dimension. So the weight is 0.23. So it is something like uh, 230 mm. Okay. And the depth, or you can say the length of a shear wall, it is one meter. So 1000 mm basically. Okay, so X dimension will be the width. So as you can see in the AutoCAD or you can say the pile cap foundation drafting plan, the X direction, this is the X direction. So length in X direction, it is 0 0.23. So in the shape also, X dimension will be 0 0.23. So Y dimension of this particular shear wall, it is one meter. So 1000 mm basically. But in the shape, we have to specify the uh, dimension in the meter. So one. Then after just select the midpoint uh, of the this particular line at which you want to draw the shear wall, just like this. Okay, you have to select the midpoint only. Okay, here also the same length and the width of shear wall is there. So I'll select the midpoint of this line, this one also, this one. Now we need to uh, also draw the shear wall for uh, this particular uh, two shear walls, right? So here we have the uh, different, uh, you can say the depth here. 
okay the width which is the x dimension that is a uh, 0.2 meter and the length or you can say the depth uh, which is the y dimension of the shear wall it is like 4.1 meter so here x dimension i'll change it will be 0.2 and the y dimension will be 4.1 okay 4.1 right then after just select this one as a midpoint of the shear wall okay so here we have done the complete drafting of the pile cap foundation now what we will do is we will delete the uh, lines that we have used for the reference to draw the pile cap for example if we just uh, right click on this particular uh, line okay you can see the beam property is none here so to delete these beams uh, that we have considered for the reference to draw the pile cap we have to go for the select section and then select and then properties and then we have to go for the beam properties and here we have to select a none because uh, as you click a right click on this particular beam the property will be none so the property here you have to select is a none also in order to select the all the beams which are having the none property so once you select this none just click on okay all the beams will be selected just click on a delete button the beams will be deleted so this is about the complete modeling of the pile cap foundation into a safe software so that's it in this video thank you so much for watching if you found this video helpful then please like share and subscribe to our channel so that you can get notified for the videos that we will be uploading in the future